So we was watching Tiffany Henyard lie to our faces, and we were also disappointed with Roland Martin for not doing a thorough un uh, investigation and understanding the person that they then apparently brought on a platform. I don't know if it was for his producers. I don't know who got this woman on a platform yesterday, but we was disappointed in Roland because Roland wasn't doing what Roland usually does. And that's be a bulldog or a hamster. <laughs> but Tiffany Henyard was on the stand yesterday with Roland Martin and she was over there lying her face off and all of us were sitting here and we reacted to it. But I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe Roland is going to come back and do the right thing. Then I look at this clip that pops up on my algorithm. And I say, oh, well, let's review it together because I haven't seen it myself. Make sure you hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Let's get to it. All right, folks, last night on Roland Martin Unfiltered, I talked to the mayor of Dalton, Illinois, in an exclusive interview about a variety of allegations against her. She's got national attention. A lot wait, of wait, 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 wait. Let me see something. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Anton, please cover her fanny Congress hearing that man with CYA for all this mess when it hit the same. Oh, we going to get there. We going to get there. We going to get there. Let's continue, y'all. We got to understand what Roly, Roly, Roly is talking about. Um, let's get to it, y'all. Critics out there uh, with regards to uh, how she's operated as the mayor of Dalton, as well as the supervisor of Thornton Township. One of the issues we talked about was this charity, uh, Tiffany Henrik Cares. Can we just, can we, can we back up for one second? Why is Roland Martin's green screen so bad? With all of this money that he's getting and all of this production and this horrible, horribly designed studio that he got that got black people on the front of it on the left side for the Black Star Network. Are you telling me that this man cannot get a better green screen or a better camera or a better editor to fix this? You telling me that my studio was more productive than his studio? Come on, man. Talked about was this charity Look at that green screen. Uh, Tiffany Hendrick Cares Foundation. Here's what I first asked her about the foundation. You have a charity that um, uh, from the Attorney General's office is, uh, I understand they sent a cease and desist letter to your foundation? I don't know nothing about that. Um, I'm not crazy. I'm not You have a, a Tiffany Henry Cares, your foundation. I, so the Attorney General's office hasn't reached out to you regarding your, found, your foundation? So I want to set the record straight. I don't have a foundation. I am a supporter of anybody that's struggling with cancer. My mom had breast cancer, and I'm always push anybody that has that. If someone uses my name to push their charity, or if you say this is Tiffany T-shirt, people gonna buy it. Because right now, consider what? Clickbait. People make money off of my name by views. So you just so say my you name. Don't have a, you say you, say you don't have a I foundation. I don't. I do not. And that's okay. why I tell everybody, go do your research. I'm not on anything. I need okay. Roland. I need All Roland right. to invest in his uh in his platform. I know you getting money over there, Roland. I know you getting money over there, Roland. Put some money in your platform, big dog. Let's continue. Let's not get distracted, y'all. Follow that up a little bit later in the interview with this. So I, I before I asked you before we uh, went to the break, I talked about um, the um, again this this charity uh, and um, the Illinois Attorney General's office. Um, this is what this is from uh, CBS affiliate there uh, says that uh, the accusation comes at the same time the Illinois Attorney General's office told Henry's charity multiple times in recent months to stop improperly soliciting donations because it had not registered with the state as required by law. Uh, and, and you said that's not your charity. Correct. Okay. Um, so were you ever, um, so there was, so show, show the video here, I'm trying to understand this here. So uh, this is a uh, video um, of, the, of you marching with the charity. So what is this? So what they're not telling you is we literally walked to Springfield to create a bill to help anybody that suffered from cancer, whether it's the village Who of Who are these mysterious what? days, what they not telling you? Who are these mysterious days? 
the township, and then I increase it to the state of Illinois. And that bill will help people um, by giving them $10,000. And that's a bill that we actually are initiating, and we're still working on it. When I went through the Republican states, the Republican areas, we didn't have any issue. Everybody was on board because everybody is suffering from cancer or know someone that passed or is actually going through it. So that was the whole purpose of the walk, to basically bring awareness and bring people together. That's what the whole purpose of it is. But if you had, so there were folks with signs saying Tiffany Henry Cares Foundation. Uh -huh. Who was that? What, what do you mean? It's everybody. Everybody was there. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, what is the Tiffany Henry Cares Foundation? You said it's not affiliated with you at all? Correct. Well, what is it? So someone made up a foundation, they named it after me, and they like my work that I do in the community, and it's called Tiffany and Your Cares. So we all went... Not now, they, but they weren't registered. Have you contacted them and told them you can't use my name improperly? Well, my lawyer's handling a lot of that stuff, so all I can tell you is that I'm not the one on anything. That's the only thing I can tell you right now. So I'm just trying to answer to the best So you're saying there's a, there's a foundation that's not registered, but it has nothing to do with you? Correct. That's true. Okay. That's so true. you're not aware of any of the work that they've done, money that they've raised, anything along those lines? Correct. Okay. You all know that that's okay. why. So she said in the interview that the foundation was not hers. This is from a council meeting doing and I'm really, really big on that's dear to my heart is I'm real big on um, a cancer uh, foundation. I have created Tiffany Hinger uh, Cares Foundation. And that was fast. <laughs> that was fast. That didn't take any time. I have created the Tiffany Hinger Cares Foundation. She sat up there I don't know if these people realize that they be on camera saying stuff and then they come back or maybe they just say stuff so much that they start to believe the thing that they saying. That was quick. I mean, we all know. Come, come on, 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 come on. It just wasn't hard to figure out. This was not hard to figure out. We all knew and we all seen a lot of this before. This is not hard to figure out. The woman sat up there and lied to our face on a live stream with Roland Martin about the fact that she knew nothing about this foundation that was named after her. What that entails is helping everybody uh, with the injury on uh, a cancer uh, foundation. I have created Tiffany Hinger uh, Cares Foundation, and what that entails is helping everybody uh, within the 17 municipalities with services, such as uh, well services and resources, such as um, if you need help paying for chemo, radiation, your medicine, your wigs, your um, prosthetic, um, your breasts, uh, things of that nature, even helping you with housing. Because um, I know firsthand how that feels to just not have help. Um, my mom had breast cancer, so I want to make sure that I put that out there to the public and to everybody that it goes to any 17 municipality. It, you cannot live in Chicago uh, to benefit from this foundation. It's strictly for uh, people that live in the 17 communities. Uh, we are doing a cancer walk October 4th. It didn't have this room was filled. I will hope y'all will come out for that cause. Uh, we will start right at Food for Less parking lot. And we will walk west going across the Unity Bridge and we will walk 15 miles. So anybody that's up for the challenge or that feel they can make it, please show up. You can walk, ride, or drive. And yes, we got uh, bikes. We have motorcycle clubs. We have all kinds of people that is joining us in this uh, movement. This woman is crazy. Uh, because you never know when you need this resource as well. So always be about the cause. Uh, last but not least, even though I know we got another meeting, uh, the kids' Halloween dance party will be Sunday, October. This woman is crazy. So now I'm confused. In that video, in a council meeting, and I'm about to play the intro again, Mayor, H Mayor Henyard says, I have created a foundation. Press play. I'm doing that. I'm really, really big on that. It's dear to my heart. It's a real Henyard. We pulled the article of incorporation. Pull that up. Now, when I asked her about this, she said, 
Someone made up a foundation. Okay, someone. Here's the problem. The registered agent of the foundation is a Keith Freeman. We already knew that. Keith Freeman works for the city of Dalton. Right next to Tiffany Henyard. If you look at the boards of the directors, there are five people. Kamal Woods, Pamela Earhart, Carmen Carlisle, William Moore, Cheryl Schranz, S-C-H-R-A-N-Z. Earlier today, I, I know Patrick. I'm familiar I with all of I sent emails to Carmen Carlisle, who is listed as an assistant to Mayor Henyard <laughs> for the city of Dalton. <laughs> I sent an email to William Moore, who's listed as head of housing for the city of Dalton. So now I'm confused. Then I pulled additional information. Cheryl Schranz apparently is a vendor of the city of Dalton. It's all a racket. And she has the tow yard contract for the city of Dalton. It's all a racket. All a racket. So the same people that's a part of what it is that you're putting together from a foundation perspective, which we already familiar that the money that you're giving out is not your money, even though you label it as your money, but it's money that's designated and allocated for the homeless and the poor and for food and pantries and all of this stuff. But you use it to promote yourself, right? And I don't know why he's so slow. But the same people who get in these contracts as getting paid as vendors from the city as a part of this $30 million budget is your homegirls and your homeboys. So everybody is finessing the taxpayers, but the taxpayers is still supporting her, right? And she guaranteed, listen, she said it yesterday, and I bust out laughing, and I thought it was the funniest thing ever. She sat there and she guaranteed, she said, listen, not only am I winning, but I'm going to win again, and I'm going to get reelected again. Again, this is where I'm confused. So, I also sent an email to James Facts, Farrell, who Facts, is Connie. Facts, head of Connie. communications for the city of Dalton. I got to speed this up because he been asking, talking Asking, are Dalton city employees listed below involved in the Henyard Cares Foundation board? No response. Moore didn't respond. Carlisle didn't respond. Keith Freeman didn't respond. I did send an email with these questions to the PR staff of, um, of for, for Mayor Henyard and pull up their response, please. This is a statement attributed to Mayor Henyard. Pull it up. I recognize there are questions surrounding my association with the Tiffany Cares Foundation. Allow me to clarify. While the foundation's purpose deeply resonates with me due to personal experiences witnessing my mother's battle with cancer, I want to emphasize that I have never held a position on this board nor am I involved in its daily operations. My connection stems from a sincere dedication to serving my community, particularly those confronting similar challenges. It's important to note that while my likeness is being used for the cause, I am not in an authority or operative position within the organization. My commitment remains steadfast to residents of Illinois and my mission to advocate for their health and wellness. Okay, I get that. But here's what I'm trying to understand. The mayor says, I'm not involved in his operation. I have no position. According to the articles of the corporation, she's correct. But the five people who are involved. Not according to the video where she says she started it. Possibly four. 
one person is alleged to be in a romantic relationship. I'm trying to confirm or deny. One of the five is a vendor with the city. <laughs> so here's a foundation that the state attorney general's office has ordered them to stop accepting funds. But here's part of the, also the problem. Mary Henyard participated in a vote that provided money to the foundation. Do we have that video? So that happened. So how do you then say in a meeting, I have created a foundation and in the same meeting, you are describing what the foundation is going to do. So you give me a statement today saying I'm not involved in any of his actions or his decisions, but you said this in announcing the foundation, which describes his activities. How do you know this? Press play. I'm really, really big on that's dear to my heart. It's I'm real big on um, a cancer uh, foundation. I have created Tiffany and Hinger uh, Cares Foundation, and what that entails is helping everybody uh, within the 17 municipalities with services, such as uh, well services. And I said, this statement does not, first of all, the email that I sent, I said, I have some additional questions regarding the Tiffany Hinyard Cares Foundation. I laid out and I said, my understanding is that Keith Freeman is the Dalton Village Manager. Does Hinyard have a personal relationship with Keith Woods? Mm. Is Pamela Earhart her assistant? Mm. Is Carmen Carlisle a trustee of Thornton Township? Mm -hmm. Is William Moore the housing director at Dalton? Is Cheryl Schranz a vendor with Dalton and is the official tow yard? I said, now last night, Mayor Henyard said she wasn't aware of who was behind the foundation. How can that be the case with all of these connections? Please provide me an answer. We will be doing this story tonight at 6 p.m. They responded. And I responded. This statement does not answer the questions I posed. Was Mayor Henyard aware that Dalton and Thornton Township employees created and oversaw this charity? Why did she say she was not aware who was behind this charity when every person has a tie to her? Why would she allow a charity to use her name, image, and likeness, but she have no involvement with it? She has voted for monies to be sent to the charity. The charity has used Dolton City Services. She promoted the charity on her social media, personal pages, and in meetings. So how is she not aware of the goals, objectives, and business dealings of the charity. And she took pictures for the charity. <laughs> that last one hasn't been answered. So these are the type of questions that raise doubt in the minds of people regarding the veracity of Mayor Henyard. Now, let me just give my final thoughts on this situation. Because I told y'all this is not going to be over. Let me give you all my final thoughts, and we're going to move on from there. All right? Um, <laughs> we all here, because we all familiar with what's going on with Tiffany Henyard, we all knew that she was lying. Like, this is not new news. We're not trying to figure it out. We're not trying to understand it. We already know this, right? But here's, here's the thing about it. Here's the interesting thing about it. Tiffany, you thought, because I know you're watching this right now, baby, you thought that you was going to forego the intense questioning and the deep diving and that you was going to have a softball interview because you was going to go on an incredibly liberal program called Roland Martin. Now look what happened to you. See how that worked out? See how the devil worked on your behalf? You thought that you was going to go on there. Think about what you just did. You, you dug yourself a deeper hole by going on Roland Martin and not coming to kick it with Anton from AntonDaniels.com. You see how that worked out for you? Every single thing that you do falls on your head, and you don't even realize. You don't even realize that now he's digging deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into your life. He digging into the people that you allegedly got a relationship. See, I absolved myself from this. I said, you know what? I don't care about her personal business. I don't care about her family. I don't care about who she, because see, 
What you don't know is that I know more than you think that I know. Oh, I know a lot. I know all of the ins and the outs. I know the spider webs. Yes, you watching this live, Andre. I know the spider webs. I know who you connected to. I know who busting you down. You don't even know what I know. I know so much about you. But because I'm a professional, because I'm a professional, I decide that I'm only going to speak on and react to what can be proven factually and more importantly, what the news is saying. So I'll laugh about it and I'll give my opinion about it, but I largely leave you out of it or I leave a lot of all of these personal things that you got going on out of it. I know a lot. I know a lot. You don't even realize how many people from your town and your camp contacted me with information about you. Listen, I know so much about you that is people around you Listen, I know stuff about you like, like Terrence Bradley just did Fawny Willis. <laughs> this is, listen, listen. Honest to God, on my father's grave, I'm not bluffing. I'm not bluffing even a little bit. I know so much about you that it's people around you that's already reached out to me and they said, yo, Anton, just leave me out of it. Leave me out of it. You think you impenetrable. You think you smarter than everybody else. You think that you smart. See, listen, if I if I come for you, it's going to be different. I'm different. I don't have no strings on me. I don't have no sponsors that's telling me what I can't do. I don't have no control on me. What I'm telling you is that I know everything. I know the people you slept with. I know every single thing that you don't think that I know about you. But you keep fighting me. And I keep telling you, I could be your best friend. I'm the person that's saving you. I'm the person that's preventing you from really being out there. Because I don't want you to suffer. I want you to fix yourself. And I actually gave you a proposal. I said, listen, Tiff, all you got to say is I apologize and I'm going to do better. Y'all remember when I said that, audience? Y'all remember when I said that, audience? I said, all she got to do is say I apologize and I'm going to do better. I ain't tell her to admit guilt. I ain't tell her to do none of that. I said, listen, this is your last chance, your last opportunity. Now, I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of my word. And so I'm not going to ever attack you personally from that perspective. But I just want you to understand the character that I have versus the people that you run into because you think that they're going to ask you some softball questions, but it's not going to be bad for you. It's bad. It's already bad. Your whole squad, everybody around you, is preparing themselves and they trying to prevent themselves from being in a negative situation and you don't realize it yet and you're not going to figure it out until it's too late. And see, you keep talking to everybody around. I know the phone calls that you done made. I know the people that you done talked to. I Listen, you don't think that they called me after you talked to them and they told me what you said? You don't think that I know? You don't think that I talked to your assistant? You don't think that I know exactly who you reached out to after I already talked? You don't think that I know who, what's going on around me? You think that my people ain't loyal? You think my people ain't loyal like your people ain't loyal? I got a different crew. I got a whole nother thing. Listen, this is fun for me. This is fun for me. You need to literally, honestly, and I'm tired of having these talks with you. I'm tired of having these conversations with you. I'm tired of going back and forth with you. What I am going to tell you is that I'm the only person that you got left. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, last, the last thing that you got left. I'm all you got, baby. Ain't nobody on your team. You think Roland was, was going to not do his due diligence after he did whatever it is that he did for you? I'm all you got. I'm all you got. I'm the rich friend. Let's have tea. Let's have tea. I think we should have tea and crumpets. I know, come on, I know you're watching. I'm telling you, I am one of the most real people ever. When I'm loyal and when you're on my team, 
We rocking. I know everything about you. Listen, I know the people that's trying to prevent themselves from getting away from you. And you know I know what I'm talking about. You know exactly who I'm talking about. You know all of the people that I'm talking about. We know the same people right now. I know more about you through them than you know that they know about you. They know your secrets. They know what's happening with you. They know everything. Last chance. Get at me by this weekend. Talk to me by this weekend. And we can have a conversation. Let's have tea. Let's have tea. I'm going to make sure I take it. Ask my friends. Ask anybody that's ever rocked with me. They know. They know that I take care of my people. I'm, I'm definitely down. And you got my phone number, too. You know my number. Call my number. Get in touch with me. Put that dumb ego down. Trust me. You digging yourself the biggest hole ever. Get at me, man. I ain't going to sit here and keep talking to you. I'm not going to keep talking to you. Get at me. You need to holler at me, man. For real. Don't let me keep... You do your thing. You do what you feel is best at this point. Make sure y'all get that Teach Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift. Make sure you get that Teach Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift. The link is in the description. If y'all not a part of the Bag Chasers, go ahead and become a Bag Chaser tomorrow. I don't want you signing up today. I want you to sign up tomorrow. I don't want you signing. And look how I saved you because I ain't said nothing about your personal situations and issues. I told your people, hey, listen, let's just hold off on that. We ain't trying to do all of that. We ain't going to go personal. We just going to keep it professional. 